Firefox, since our module includes oscillators and processing effects such as VCA, wave folder, distortion and envelope generator, we can use SGR as a synthesizer voice. The oscillators may not track very precisely, but they can reliably track about 3 octaves. So, we need to connect the device output. Connect our control 1 volt per octave and a gate signal for the envelope from the keyboard. To produce sound, we push this button and connect the envelope signal to the VCA. We increase the decay and raise the frequency of oscillators. And add a bit of wavefolding effect. To achieve a more pronounced sound, we make the envelope curve more linear. Since we have three unsynchronized oscillators, we will almost always have a detune effect. The frequency tuning of the oscillators will be close to the base frequency of the second oscillator, or split out up and down. Let's play with the settings. To emphasize the pronounced attack, let's route the envelope signal to control the wavefolding and distortion. To achieve the sound of only one oscillator, we can follow these steps. Turn the spread knob all the way to one side. One oscillator will sound very high, while the other will sound low, relative to the bass oscillator. Then simply lower the master frequency. Consequently, we will hear only one oscillator. We need to adjust the lower frequency limit and start playing. We'll add noise to the harmonic signal both statically and at the moment of attack by routing the envelope to the mixer.
Let's play with arpeggios. I will modulate the decay time of the envelope. We can also apply feedback and frequency modulation, but in that case notes may not be tracked well. Let's connect an LFO to the wave folding effect and another LFO to the noise tone control. Since the SGR has a wave folder, distortion and VCA, we can cleverly use it as an effects processor by routing audio signals to the control voltage input. For the bass, I take a sine wave from the oscillator. Let's listen it. Connect one volt per octave control to it. Listen without processing. Now I route the trigger signal from keyboard to SGR envelope. Essentially, how can we route the signal for processing through the SGR? 
we can route the audio signal to control voltage for the wave folder. I'll do that now. But this also works through distortion and over elements of the model. And as a result of their operation, we'll hear the processed input signal. Now I will connect the oscillator output to the wavefolding control input. demonstrated before, we can also add oscillator sounds and noise from the SGR to the processed signal. For example, let's add a metallic resonance. Different settings of the add signals will distort the primary signal. the signal through the distortion control. The effect is less pronounced, but it's useful when mixing additional signals when using the SGR for example as a drum model.
try placing the signal through an envelope generator that will control over effects. Why not? High frequency sounds will not be passed through. Well, modulate the decay time with an LFO. Everything coming in will be transformed into a solid tooth signal. So try playing with it back by oscillator death envelope control. Also pass the signal through the spirit control and add a gate signal to the envelope as the spirit effect has a very high response rate. I think you can also come up with several more interesting and non-standard ways to use such processing. Don't be afraid to pass your signals through the control inputs.